Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today is it cars and coffee time. So we take my MX-5 to a friend of mine and then we pick up his special car and drive towards the cars and coffee. But first, cold starter baby. In the meanwhile, two hours passed and we have arrived at the restaurant over there in the outside garden. We just had some drinks and food and now it's time to explore the parking a bit. Later in this video we will explore more of the Carrera T but now it's time to appreciate the old timers that are parked here. Some classic Porsches here, we got the Jaguar, another Triumph, Triumph. But I am more of a Ferrari man myself and just look at this A12 just standing. Absolute dream spec maybe. Change the wheels to something black but this one is being used as it should. It's covered in dirt. The old time greatest V12 arguably with the v12 of the aventador but this is one unique sound by itself i think if i had to choose one supercar for myself to drive only that car i think an a12 would be a strong candidate he also got this carbon fiber side skirt and the diffuser in carbon fiber and i know there are a lot of classic cars here but yeah i don't know anything about them i mean they are cool you have a special look that I don't know a lot about. Maybe you guys can tell. So I'm just going to show y'all the classic cars that are present here. We've got some Mercedes, we've got old Porsches, we've got some more over there, an old Ferrari. Oh, the F12 already left. And here we've got two Porsche 911 classics. They also matching number plates. We've got RA 054, 154 matching specs one of the more heritage interiors looks quite cool this also is a manual as you can see over there manual gearbox seven gears of course so indeed the 911 sport classic in a gold covered logo which looks quite expensive from this standpoint we can also see the differences between the older one and the newer one we've got the fat exhaust pipes here they are covered inside of the diffuser we've got 19 inch wheel, 19, 19, 19 inch wheels 21 inch so big difference here the porsche always knows how to create a unique car the ducktail just sticking out here quite unique we've also got this ixm the XM in a kind of blue PPF and we will hear a cold startup right now. And there she goes, the Ferrari 208. Such a baller car. Oh, it's a G08, my bad.
Okay, not bad. 992, ready to rock and roll. It's my turn to get behind the wheel of the Porsche 911-992 Carrera T. First time actually driving a 911, but I can get used to it. That's for sure. Let's take it easy here to drive off the parking. And off we go onto the main road. So in this car we have a 3 liter flat 6 with 385 horsepower and that's all on the rear wheels. So things can get quite scary in here. But we are going to take it easy, enjoy the drive. Let's speed up a little bit because it's 70 here. Yeah, such a smooth driving experience. So this car has uh, as a standard option the sport exhaust. Uh, we've got also the Sport Chrono, so launch control and everything is included in this Porsche. And as you can hear, the sound of the exhaust is quite good. If we do a little downshift, it sounds amazing. And now we can push it a little bit. <laughs> now it's a 50, so we take it easy. <laughs> With small, small pops. Sounds too good. <laughs> you can't go wrong with a Porsche, that's for sure. <laughs> and the shifts are so smooth. This is the Porsche PDK. Yeah, one of the best transmissions there is. Sounds too good. Don't you? <laughs> and I am back in the MX-5. It is kind of chilly today, but still time to drop the roof and enjoy the view of the 991 no of the 911-992 Carrera T because we are dropping her off at the detailer and here we are at GR detailing the question is where do we park the MX-5 I think just I think we just follow the 992 Carrera T and then we'll see I'm already back Home, but I forgot to do my outro so we will do that real quick in the next video fix this paint chip over here kind of a small black damage here from the wheel but that's a small detail for next video updates on the EV my car is ordered and it should be here in about three months I hope so and can we just have a moment to appreciate this beauty I can't get enough of the color and even after two years it still amazes me how good it looks in under the sun. Not that there is any sun right now but you'll get the point. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Driving a 911 for the first time was a pretty cool experience and of course we are used to Porsche and they always deliver quality so that was one thing that's for sure. I want to thank my friend for trusting me and letting me drive his Porsche. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.